How well do you know the ocean? The ocean covers 71% of the Earth's surface, leaving 29% to be land. It is estimated that between 70 and 80% of the oxygen in the atmosphere is produced by marine plants. Beyond the rainforest and under the sea lies a vast array of plant life that up until now has yet to be utilized to its full potential. Ecuadorian rainforest takes you beyond the borders of the rainforest and hundreds of feet below to discover the selection of marine ingredients our company has to offer. What exactly are algae? Algae are a large and diverse group of simple, typically autotrophic organisms ranging from unicellular to multicellular forms. The largest and most complex marine forms are called seaweeds. They are photosynthetic, like plants, and simple because they lack the many distinct organs found in land plants. There are three types of algae, red, green, and brown. Some algae in the ocean are very small and drift in the ocean water. Those algae are phytoplankton. The most abundant type of algae is brown algae with over 5,000 species. Not all are totally brown. Red algae has over 2,000 species and lives where light is dim in deeper waters, mostly in temperate and tropical waters. Green algae is more common on land and in freshwater systems, but is the least common in the ocean where about 800 are known to exist. Our first algae is Macrocystis pyrifera, also known as giant kelp. Giant kelp is a species of marine alga found along the coast of North America from Central California to Baja California. Although it begins life as a microscopic spore at the ocean floor, this species may grow to lengths of 60 meters or 200 feet with its upper fronds forming a dense canopy at the surface, hence the name giant kelp. On your screen, you will find many current and future uses of kelp. Giant kelp has been used for many years because it contains iodine, potassium, other minerals, vitamins, and carbohydrates. Our next ingredient is Salicornia aeropea. The common name for Salicornia aeropea is glasswort. It came into use in the 16th century to describe plants growing in England whose ashes could be used for making soda-based glass. The glasswort's are succulent annual halophytes, or plants that thrive in saline environments, such as sea coasts, and salt marshes. While the original English glasswort plants belongs to the genus Salicornia, the term has been extended over the years to halophyte plants from several genera, some of which are native to continents unknown to the medieval English. On your screen, you will find many uses for glasswort. Glasswort ashes yield soda ash, which was used to make glass. It has a high vitamin C content and is rich in potash, may be used as a diuretic and to relieve flatulence, may aid in digestion, and may be used as a natural anti-obesity treatment. Our next marine ingredient is Ulva lactuca, also known as sea lettuce. Sea lettuce is a green algae and belongs to the genus Ulva. It grows up to 30 centimeters high with a broad, tough, translucent, and membranous frond. It can be found at intertidal levels, although in brackish habitats it is found in the shallow sub-littoral level. On your screen, you will find the many uses of 
sea lettuce. Many of these uses come from the fact that sea lettuce contains ash, carbohydrates, fiber, lipids, protein, and many minerals. Our final ingredient is astaxanthin. Astaxanthin is a carotenoid. It belongs to a larger class of phytochemicals known as terpenes. It is classified as a xanthophile, which means yellow leaves. Like many carotenoids, it is a colorful, fat, and oil-soluble pigment. Astaxanthin can be found in microalgae, yeast, salmon, trout, krill, shrimp, crayfish, crustaceans, and the feathers of some birds. On your screen, you will find some properties and uses of astaxanthin. It's a powerful antioxidant. It's a colorful carotenoid that is fat and oil soluble, protects against lipid peroxidation, and can be used as a human food supplement. Thank you for viewing this brief presentation. If you have any questions, your friendly ER sales representative is available to answer them. Additionally, our ER knowledge base contains over 100 informative articles on not only the ingredients mentioned in this presentation, but for other ingredients as well. Once again, thank you for your time, and we look forward to doing business with you soon.